Hello. Welcome to the video. Today's topic is Educational Implications of Piaget's Theory. Piaget's theories have had a major impact on the theory and practice of education. Piaget's theory focused attention on the idea of developmentally appropriate education. An education with environments, curriculum, materials, and instruction that are suitable for students in terms of their physical and cognitive abilities and their social and emotional needs. In addition, several major approaches to curriculum and instruction are explicitly based on Piaget's theory. This theory has been influential in constructivist models of learning. The main teaching implications drawn from Piaget as follows. A focus on the process of children's thinking, not just its products. That means, in addition to checking the correctness of children's answers, teachers must understand the processes children use to get to the answer. Appropriate learning experiences build on children's current level of cognitive functioning. Recognition of the crucial role of children's self-initiated, active involvement in learning activities. Therefore, instead of teaching didactic ally, teachers provide a rich variety of activities that permit children to act directly on the physical world. The de-emphasis on practices aimed at making children adult-like in their thinking. An important implication of Piaget's theory is adaptation of instruction to the learner's developmental level. That means the content of instruction needs to be consistent with the developmental level of the learner. In a Piagetian classroom the presentation of ready-made knowledge is de-emphasized, and children are encouraged to discover for themselves through spontaneous interaction with the environment. It emphasizes discovery learning and providing opportunities for learners to explore and experiment, thereby encouraging new understandings. The teacher's role is to facilitate learning by providing a variety of experiences. It emphasizes learning opportunities that allow students of differing cognitive levels to work together, which often encourage less mature students to advance to a more mature understanding. Acceptance of individual differences in developmental progress. Piaget's theory assumes that all children go through the same developmental sequence but that they do so at different rates. Therefore, therefore, teachers must make a special effort to arrange classroom activities for individuals and small groups of children rather than for the total class group. In addition, because individual differences are expected, assessment of children's educational progress should be made in terms of each child's own previous course of development not in terms of normative standards provided by the performances of same-age peers. One further implication for instruction is the use of concrete, hands-on, experiences to help children learn. Additional suggestions include provide concrete props and visual aids, such as models and or timeline. Use familiar examples to facilitate learning more complex ideas, such as story problems in math. Allow opportunities to classify and group information with increasing complexity. Use outlines and hierarchies to facilitate assimilating new information with previous knowledge. Present problems that require logical analytic thinking. The use of tools such as brain teasers is encouraged. Use visual aids and models. Provide opportunities to discuss social, political, and cultural issues teach broad concepts rather than facts, and to situate these in a context meaningful and relevant to the learner. If you find this information helpful please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.